Hi there, Sandra here from Create in Spain. Today I am doing an interactive card. It's a wiper type card where something moves from side to side like that, like a windscreen wiper. So I've cut out my pieces. Now, even though this is a 300 GSM card, I am cutting two of these moving stalks because I don't think that otherwise it has enough strength in it. So I'm going to stick two of these together. Now the other thing that I have done is I cut out a double piece of card for my front here. And you can make this in various different shapes according to the design that you need. This is where I had something previously stuck on it, but I'm reusing it, so that's fine. I've got some foam tape on the back, which I may have to move because I made this card before, discovered I had it wiping in the wrong direction and thought, ah, don't want that. So I took it all to pieces again. I'm going to show you how to make sure that it does wipe in the right direction. Now this piece of card that I'm using for the base and the design has a lot of holes. You're not going to use more than one of them, but it gives you the option of using different positions for different designs. They're not going to be seen, so it doesn't make any difference that you have too many. If you want your wipe to go from left to right when you pull out, then you need to make sure that these holes are about a centimeter up from the base. If you want it to go in the other direction, you can have them higher up and then it will go in the other direction because you'll be using a different hole on here. I will explain. To do the left to the right, these holes here are class as the bottom holes and that is the bottom hole on this piece of acetate. Hopefully you can see it. There are two holes, one there, one there. This piece, which is the stalk, is going to have a tiny little brad put through the hole and it's going to go through that top hole. If I want to do it so that it swipes from right to left when I pull out, then I use the bottom hole, but because I want it this way round, I'm going to be using that top hole. And so you want to open it out. Don't squeeze it too tight. You want it to be able to move well, okay? If it's too tight, it won't move. And the way to make it so that it's not too tight is to put something like a pin underneath before you flatten it down. That gives you a little bit of extra wriggle room. You can flatten it down more afterwards just by pressing on it if you need to. So the other brad is going to go through the bottom hole. And just to start off with for positioning, I'm just going to put it through, was it one, two, three, four, hole number four. So when this is fully in, and you can trim off the end of this, it's going to be to the left and it will pull to the right. That's what I need it to do. If I wanted it to go from that side to that side by pulling, I would be using these the other way round. And because I'd be using it the other way round, I'd need to move these holes up a centimeter. If I move it further over to the right, I end up with it going from there to there. And that might be preferable because it means I can have a slightly longer stalk and more movement. And if I put it into the far right hole, go on, go in. I end up with a very short stalk, but it goes all the way from there, all the way over there. But that means I need to have the stalk shorter because otherwise it's just going to fly off the end. Yeah, I think, I think that's the right hole to put it in. So I can now open this one up. Stick that through there to open it. And over that, put it over that. 
and just check that everything's moved nicely. That free movement, no problem at all. So this bit is going to go over here like that. Now, as it happens, I've got my hole a little bit too low down. Now, what I would suggest is that you don't cut it with a hole in place. You mark where you want your hole to be afterwards and cut it. Just use a die or use a pair of scissors just to take a little notch out if indeed you want to. Other than that, you could just have the end sticking out very slightly from the card. It's up to you. So that one is slightly in the wrong place, I think. Yeah, never mind. I can always cover it up with something else. <laughs> there are usually ways of getting around this. Okay. So I don't want this to go down too low. So I would want to put a little bit of foam or something there to make sure it didn't go any further down. Okay, so I think I can stick that down. And uh, the only bit I need to be wary of is this bit here. So if that's lining up with that, I want to get rid of this bit to about there, I think. That'll do. The rest I can reuse. I need a double layer of tape. Now I could have put the foam on here. If you do want to put it onto the backing instead, the easiest thing to do is to trace the line of your front panel so that you know you're not going to get anything where it shouldn't be and put that on there. Brilliant, it works really, really well. As it happens, I'm going to be putting on an ice cream. And I know from experience that this needs to be propped up with at least one layer of foam on there, and then three layers on the back of the ice cream to hold it up. And the reason for that is because if you don't, Whatever you've got on here may catch on there. So the next thing is to put my bees on. And the reason I'm using them is because, as with the ice cream, I already had these pieces cut. For a demonstration card, I didn't want to have to completely design from scratch. And so I cheated and used bits that I've already got. I can always pull it off if it's not correct and if it's correct it can stay there yep i think that's fine so here's the finished card front i've put on a happy birthday wax seal just to be different just for a change and that's how the wiper works all you have to do then is to mount it onto a base card and you are done. It's relatively simple to do, you just have to make sure that you don't get foam where the mechanism needs to go. Other than that, it's pretty simple. And as I said in the video, if you want to do this direction, you have your mechanism set in one hole and if you want it to be in the other direction, then you need to put it into the other hole and make your holes further up the card to accommodate it. Okay, that's it for today. I'll see you again soon. Take care now.